What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, or I guess Twitter in this case, because I'm probably uploading this only to Twitter. Uh, I, I, I wanted to make a video talking about DeFranco's video today about YouTube suppression and the new suppression bot. Uh, the problem is, I know from the last two videos about this topic I've uploaded, if I upload it to my YouTube channel, it will just get suppressed. The irony of that is not lost to me, so I thought I'd upload it to YouTube. I might still upload this to, to YouTube just to see how it performs, just to see how suppressed it gets. Uh, but for now, here's, here it is on Twitter. So to briefly summarize what DeFranco was saying, there's basically several different bots running YouTube right now. And of course, everybody knows about the demonetization bot, which looks at a video and determines whether or not that video should be monetized and have advertisements on it. And there is now apparently a new AI running around. And then YouTube has said very, very little about this as far as I know. Uh, but it looks for a video and determines whether or not that video should be shared in the recommended tabs, whether it has a chance to be featured, whether or not it should be pushed out to the people who normally watch your videos or not. And it's using certain criteria to determine that. And as DeFranco said in that video, uh, it's definitely not the same robot. Uh, the things that will get you demonetized might not get you suppressed, and the things that you get you suppressed may not get you demonetized. And because of YouTube's silence on this, I see a lot of victim blaming right now. People saying, Boogie, DeFranco, all these other uh, creators who are complaining about this stuff, it's just people are bored with you, they're bored of your formula, they don't like your content anymore, they don't want to watch you anymore. But that doesn't really pan out because it only happens for every third video or every second video or it may be four out of five depending on the YouTuber but if they make a video that doesn't get suppressed it reaches its usual video totals goal if it's a fluffy nice little piece that YouTube has no problem with they normally reach the video goal that you would expect it's the ones that have some controversial topic or a controversial thing that seem to be getting suppressed and I guess they could be coincidence maybe there's just a bug in the system or maybe nobody's watching YouTube that day or something to that effect but th that would be a very unlikely coincidence and I don't think this is the problem on a creators on, on a creator's end. So the point of this video is to defend DeFranco from people who are saying stuff like that, but it's also to remind you that now it is more important than ever if you want to see somebody's YouTube videos, you're going to have to do a few things to jump through a few hoops to make sure you're seeing every video they upload. The first is to follow your favorite creators on other social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and wherever else because most of us, when we post a new video, we will remind you there that there's a new video coming out that we want you to see. It's really useful to make a, a list here on YouTube, by the way, to make sure that you're following just YouTubers on the list. You see their videos because, I mean, obviously it's very difficult sometimes. Use Twitter. It, it can be very spammy. I, I tweet like 20 times a day, so I'm part of the problem. Secondly, use the system that YouTube has in place and make sure it knows that you're very, very interested. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, use that notification bell if you haven't. Interact with the videos that you do watch and try not to skip very many videos of the YouTubers that you do like. Even if you're not interested in the video, I mean, letting it autoplay into the next video, watching the entire video, stuff like that will tell the algorithm that you're very interested in that channel and it'll improve the chances of you seeing it. If it's getting suppressed, you probably won't see it anyway, but there's a chance. And then finally, you can just kind of go old school with it. If they have like an off uh, YouTube website, you can bookmark that website. You can bookmark their videos page. You can bookmark your subscribers page. And if you're subscribed to the channel, very rarely does a video ever get suppressed from the subscribers tab. So you'll see every upload there and make sure you're subscribed to channels that you want to watch. But as far as the whole suppression thing goes, I I've seen it in action on my channel. I've seen it in action on other people's channel. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know for sure that there's some AI bot YouTube has never said that there is. It could just be the system is buggy and broken and not working as intended. I will take YouTube at face value. And if, if there is some AI bot doing this kind of thing, I will believe them when they say, if they say, that they're doing this for good reasons, for the health of the website, so on and so forth. At the end of the day, it's a very frustrating thing to have to deal with, though, and whether, regardless of why this is happening, it, it definitely puts creators in a very awkward position. The good news is already established creators like me have come up with post-YouTube plans, so, you know, obviously you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, obviously, I, I've I got a nice following here on Twitter. There's lots of options for me to make sure I get my message out to you if you guys want to hear it and if you guys want to see it. And plus, what I create on YouTube is generally very fluffy, so I don't think the algorithm is going to be mad at me anytime soon. Big creators are going to be fine. Uh, it's the smaller creators. The people with less than a million subs, less than 100,000 subs, less than 10,000 subs. These are the people that are really going to have some real trouble getting established because of stuff like this. So if you really want to help somebody out, don't worry about your favorite big creators. Look for your smaller creators, the people you've just recently discovered who are trying to make it or have recently made it their full-time job. Those are the people you should be looking at their merchandise websites. You should be looking at their Patreons. You should be looking at a way outside of YouTube to help them out. And of course, if you haven't discovered Twitch yet, uh, a lot of your favorite creators have. <laughs> so now's the time to check it out.